Hi everyone, we are at the Creative World in Frankfurt and we're just walking the show floor. It's kind of fun. I've never been to this show before. Um, it seems kind of larger than Creativation or CHA show in Phoenix or in the United States. Um, but it's also like it has a lot more art supplies, uh, companies with art supplies, a lot more distributors. Uh, I've seen booths of Schmincke watercolor and Daniel Smith watercolor. Super excited. Um, and a lot of other um, art supplies companies that I've never seen before. So it's not necessarily just crafting and like stamping and die cutting, you know, and paper crafting, but more like art supplies, you know. Um, I have filmed some short clips for you from different places uh, around the show floor, like different booths that I've um, seen and different things that I've liked. And I'll try to compile them into one video and publish it for you so you can guys you guys can take a peek um, behind or take a peek at the show. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, definitely a fun show to attend and look around. The one thing that I did notice is they don't actually have any classes. Um, so it's not like you can sign up for classes like you can in CHA. Um, I have seen people doing demos and stuff. Um, there was one place, like a forum, I think, where you can participate in some sort of group activity, like do something, but it's all in German. Um, I don't really speak German. I took German in high school, but I don't remember much. I remember English. <laughs> So anyhow, um, I'm going to pause now and I'll compile this video into a longer one with other clips that I've shot and that I'll continue to film throughout the show floor. Thanks guys, I hope you like it. So this looks really cool. American Crafts now has these pouring paint mix-in kits. So basically you just have everything you need um, to pour paint on canvases. I've always wanted to try this and I feel like this is the perfect beginner kit for someone like me. Especially like um, this one with the yellow and gray and then there's um, this one with like the teals and even a little bit of pink mixed in here. And they do have other colors up top, so pretty cool. Um, they also have a bigger kit, so um, lots of other colors. And what I saw here is a gilding kit, so that's pretty awesome. Excuse me, if you want to add, you know, like some goil, uh, gold foiled or gilded um, effects to your port art. And then there's this as well, so pretty awesome. I'm kind of, kind of really excited to give this a try and uh, see if I can make some pretty art for my home. So another thing I'm really excited about are these letter boards, also from We Are Memory Keepers. Well, actually, die cuts with a few. But look at all of the different, um, you know, variations, different types of boards that you can have. There are some boards like this that look a little bit different, and then there's one that doesn't. That's kind of similar, but doesn't have a back. There's another one like that at the top here, and you have these wooden boards so that's actual kind of like raw, raw wood um, and I really like this one that's a circle you know it's very different I love these little ones are super cute as well um, I can see using uh, using one myself on my you know on my desk just for fun anyhow lots of cute stuff here oh and also also these these are also kind of fun they're not letter boards but they're like just frames, pocket frames. So you have a frame and then you have this piece that actually has two options. So you can have this kind of tile or this kind of tile um, to put into the frame and decorate it however you like. Here's one little frame decorated at the top there. So kind of cute, you know? Lots of little fun stuff for home decor. Love it. So I also spotted this really cool booth with um, pegboards. You can tell I'm obsessed with them a little bit. Um, and I love how they did their displays, like, you know, the printed couch and then the actual pegboards above with all sorts of different attachments and different ways to organize them. Here's another one. Um, you can use them um, for your kitchen, for your living room, things like that. And here on the other side of this wall, there's one that you would ha have in your hallway, um, one for the kids' room, you know, etc. But I really like this concept, you know, be able to customize it and have it however you like. 
Here is where they have all of these attachments and, you know, different bins and things and wires and such that you can put on the wall and customize it. So pretty cool. And then this also in the American Crafts booth. Uh, it's like a new, I mean, I haven't seen it before, paper fashion kind of line. Um, lots of watercolor things. Then there's the um, gouache paint at the top over there. I love this palette, you know, the wood and wooden surface. And then they have like all sorts of different uh, watercolor paper pads and then like sketch pads, which is super cute. Um, this is interesting. Look at that, like a crystal compact. Super cute. Um, and then, you know, like lots of fun, fun stuff. Like this little brush vase. And then there's like a mixing bowl at the top. Very interesting, very, very fun stuff. So I'm in the Alexandra Renke booth, and ever since I got to work with their products last fall, I have been totally in love. Like, I really love their simple designs. It's just, it's just so, you know, they're so, so pretty, so clean and simple. So very different from the um, traditional designs, sort of, that I've kind of, like, worked in the past so um, if you're not familiar with Alexander Engate this is a brand from Germany and look at all of their pretty very pretty very clean um, designs I just wanted to film real quick this beautiful display of pencils at the Fiber Castell booth it is like so impressive Beautiful, beautiful colors and it's just done so cleverly I mean I'm totally in love I actually didn't see this the first time I walked the booth but then I saw somebody online post it I'm like oh my gosh I have to go snap a photo of this so another thing I'm super excited about is this making faces line from Jane Davenport now it's actually designed for mixed media but that doesn't mean we can't use it in you know regular card making I'm actually um, eager to try her color sticks and other products to use as a coloring medium on my cards. I just tried one of her velvet pastels. Um, you can see it on my hand here, um, just, just to see how it feels. And it actually feels like real lipstick. And by the way, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but a lot of her art supplies, like the Making Faces line, is actually skin safe. So you can use it as makeup if you want. Um, I probably wouldn't, but still, like, it's pretty cool to see all of these products. And like I said, super excited to try and color my stamped images with them. Like, I can imagine using myself, uh, I can imagine myself using, like, these pencils. Um, I think they're called dra drama sticks. Yeah, drama sticks. So I can imagine myself using these drama sticks to color a stamped flower or, like, a creature or something like that on a card. So another thing I'm super impressed with at the show are these um, dual uh, pencils from Chameleon. So basically this is a pen one pencil or two pencils in one. You have the lighter shade on one end and a darker shade on the other end. Um, and there's a bunch of different colors. So these are designed to make blending um, and coloring super easy. Now they of course obviously work beautifully on white paper, but I just had to test on dark cardstock, so I went and got some. I actually had to walk like half the show to get some black paper, but I tested them and they look pretty vibrant on black paper. So I just used some basic scribbling and I really like how they look. So um, another thing that I'm super impressed with, and uh, once again, these are by Chameleon. Here's another super fun and interesting booth. Um, and it's all about acrylic pour. This seems to be really popular at this show. I've seen a couple of places do this and I am just loving, like I'm really fascinated with this concept and I'm very excited to try this myself. And here's that beautiful example. You work on a plastic, tomorrow I can peel out the thing that this way. So here's that. So that's all guys. Fun show, lots of fun things to see um, and to do. We're tired, super exhausted, my feet are killing me. We're flying back home early tomorrow morning, so we're gonna call it a show or call it a day. Um, head back to our hotel room and just 
relax. Here's some fun stuff happening. Um, so if you get a chance to come to this show, um, I'm told that it's open to anybody. Um, if you have a chance to come and visit, do come. It surely is a fun one to attend. Um, and hopefully I'll see you at the show in the future. Bye!